actually have uh, uh, one of the professors at the Cal High uh, judging today, which is uh, really great. And can you believe that you and I have been doing this over 30 years now? That is amazing. And we must enjoy it because we keep on coming back. So what is it, again, I ask you this every year, but I think it bears repeating. What is it you guys, speaking collectively on behalf of everyone, what do you think you're looking for when you're judging the, uh, the open section of the contest? Well, we're looking for uh, something that's, uh, you know, the marinated, uh, you know, some uh, lesser cuts of meat that have been tenderized at marination, uh, something that has a nice hard sear, um, you know, based throughout uh, the cooking process, and something that's coming out uh, nice and juicy and flavorful. Seems to make sense. Do you care to, can I put you on the spot to introduce your fellow judges from the Chef's Association? Let's see, uh, we have, uh, this used to be my old sous chef over here from uh, the Benjamin Club, this is Brian Forty, and uh, Professor uh, uh, Chef uh, Grace Slocum from Dell High up there. There's uh, Tom Lupo over there, the Water Street Theater, and it's Rick Guys here from uh, uh, Yes Restaurant, and his uh, lovely uh, wife, Savannah. And let's see, uh, little John Clark over there, you know him. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, oh, everyone's getting into a picture. Wait, photo bomb. Uh, did I get in? Did I get in? No. I don't know. I probably got cut in the editing process again. Dang it. All right. So anyhow, i got to keep myself fanned here with the proper side of the fan showing. Um, yeah, good. They're gonna, we're going to allow them to take their photo here, and then, then I've got some questions for each of our celebrity judges. So anyway, thank you to all the chefs who have taken out time here to be here and to judge the open section of, uh, of our contest. Hey, Michael, you're really small. All right, let's stand aside here. No, no photo bombing this time. I know, this is, this is my big opportunity. I'm missing it. All right. Okay, um, celebrity judges, stay where you are. I'm coming around to speak with each of you individually. So, where did everyone go? Where's Garner? Start. What's that? Oh, okay. No problem. Let's start with Sheriff Harder. I saw you trying to get away from me. All right, folks. All right. We've got here with us Sheriff Dave Harder, who has now been uh, the sheriff of Broome County for how many years, sir? Twenty. And uh, and how many years have you actually been with the department? Fifty-four. So during that time, you've obviously had a whole slew of employees, um, and some who even at times t seem to want to take a run at your office. Uh, but there happens to be one here today, a, a former employee, and, uh, and I'd like to get a little dirt on him if I could. Can you, first of all, I'm going to assume you called him Freddie. Is that true? You, you call him Senator Akshar Freddie? Deputy. Uh, deputy, I see. And then later, of course, under sheriff, right? Yeah, that's why we sent him off to the Senate. Give us a clear building in our place. Oh, very nice. Now, now, is it true what I hear that when he was on the force, he only had one bullet? Is that true? You only gave him one bullet? And that's when I took it out of my pocket. <laughs> So tell me, tell me, tell me a fun story about him. I mean, are you aware, for example, that at one time he had a big, bushy beard? Are you aware of that? 
Oh, yeah, it was something, that's for sure. I think another politician brought her out during a campaign. Really? Who would trust a guy with a big bushy beard like that? I don't know. So good thing he... That's why I got...